Good morning, St. John family. I'm Carla Drysdale, for those of you who don't know me, and I've been asked to share a devotion for today. As I was thinking about what I might talk about with you, I got to thinking about the impact this pandemic and shelter in place has had, has had on me. But then I also recognize how my church has impacted me, my church meaning in the response they've had and how we're reaching out to our congregation to make sure we all stay connected. And as I was sitting here thinking about this, I looked up and looked at the family wall of pictures and the saying that I have that says, family, like branches on a tree, we all go, grow in different directions, yet our root, roots remain as one. And I think that's how our church family is as well. Like Pastor Lisa says, no matter who you are or where you are on your faith journey, you are welcome here. And I think you can draw a parallel to the branches on a tree to our faith journeys, as sometimes our faith is like the thick, strong branch. Sometimes it's like a, a newly farmed outshoot of a, of a branch. We, we are all in a different place. But what I what I found is is that um, we're all rooted in the same thing. And when when I'm on some of these calls that the Zoom meetings, it it's helpful to me to see different people's point of view and share their their faith and their devotion to to God's word. And so um, I think I think it's a good thing. We we are finding good things in this. Um, but I'm just so grateful and I want to thank the leaders and the members alike who are, who are sharing things for our young children, the young adults and members at large. Um, I really think we are finding ways to reach out in new, new ways, touching many people. And I, I thank you for that. But personally, um, the main thing I struggle with is the new normal. Typically change is, is not that hard for me. I can adapt and I'm, I can be flexible. It happens all the time in my job. Um, I've got a new process, we've got a new tool. And you can find, find the good in that. Um, and you adapt accordingly. But this new normal, this change in socializing, what it means to go to the grocery store, my general routine, the overall unknown, the economy, what the future holds for my family. And for me is what I struggle with. I know I'm not alone and that many of you have those same concerns. So I'd like to share some thoughts and, and readings I have found on, on change. Um, I picked up a devotion book I read a while back um, titled A Hundred Days to Brave by Annie Downs. And for inspiration, found she had a whole section on, on change. She also has one on perseverance, but that's another devotion, I guess. Um, she based her writings on James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shadows. She writes, everything we have, from health to our friendships, to a roof over our heads, and the food in our belly is a gift from God. And we have something else to be thankful for, that God does not change. I love that about him. I don't love change, but I know that God is always working for my good. So I can say, man, this is the worst. But I have a totally trustworthy God who is looking out for me. We can hold tight to our never changing God and be okay, because in every other area of life, Change is pretty much guaranteed. Brave people are willing to let go of everything as they hold tight to God, even when things start to change. The author goes on to say, we never get shocked when the seasons change. Why? Because we look at our calendars, notice the weather changes. We see ads to buy boots. We get prepared for change. In Hebrews 13, 8, we are promised that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Whatever change may be coming, Jesus never changes. We can be brave because Jesus is constant, even when our circumstances are not. Just as the seasons change on earth, 
there are going to be changes in life. When we feel change coming, we need to prepare by spending time with God's word, remembering that if we keep our eyes on him and walk with the unchanging one, you can make even change a part of your faith journey. I like that, and I hope you find comfort in those words too. Um, with the uncertainty um, in the world at this time, I've been remembering one of my mom's favorite prayers, and I'd like to close with it today. Please pray with me. O oh God, who is the garden guide of all who put their trust in thee, grant us your peace. You know the cares that torment our spirit. Your eyes can see the light more clearly than our own eyes can discern it. Forgive the anxious self-concern, dark imaginings and distrust. In your guiding care, grant us courage to act and patience to wait. In your hand of love, O oh Lord, we put forth our hand and go forth unafraid. Amen. Have a great day.